Okay, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Let's give it a few minutes for people to join. Okay, at least I'm live. Just going to do a quick sound test just to check everything's working. Which I'm sure it is. I don't change anything, so. We're going to start the quiz in about three minutes' time. Yeah, that's loud enough. That's good. Oh, we've got three people here already. So we're just going to wait for people to join. Yep, Melanie's here. Ads. So I wait for the ads to disappear. Grab yourself a drink. Let me just put in the comments. I should put it on there, really, shouldn't I? Welcome to Monday Night's Quiz. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Grab yourself. A drink. Just make that a little bit smaller. So, I can't believe it's Monday already. There you go, that's not too bad, is it? So, hi Melanie. Good evening. So, what a treat we have in store tonight. What a treat. Oh, the notification has just gone out. Good morning, Rick. Good to see you here. So I'm just going to give it give it two more minutes. Grab yourself a drink. I know I've put Monday night there, but it's Monday night for us in the United Kingdom. Mm. So I actually have just come off another social media app <laughs> literally an hour ago. So it was straight straight on the broadcast and straight into another one. So... I'll wait, wait for, wait two more minutes. How is everyone this evening? How is everybody today? How are we feeling good? I want you to grab yourself a pen and a pa piece of paper. I need to get my timer up so I know exactly, because we are going to be doing something else. So, RJ, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, it didn't go through. I sent it again just now and it looks like it's there. Oh, I'll have a look. Where did you send it to? Uh, was it? Let, let me know in the comments. Oh, wait, something's come through. Ah, I've got it, Jay, I've got it. So I can actually do it, hopefully. Or what I could do is actually play it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Let me see if I can do it this way. I might be able to play it. Because there's a reason for it in just a moment, guys, for those that are not familiar with... What I'll do is I'll play it, but I'll play it through my phone. How does that sound? So we can still hear you, okay, but we won't be able to see it. But I can see something there, which I'll try and play next week if I can. Okay, um, for some reason I can't save it. But I will play it. Okay, so what is happening tonight, guys? Right, so it says our Monday quiz. Normally we do some maths or we have been doing some maths for the last couple of weeks but tonight I've got something new for you we're going to be doing get it get ready for this five anagrams and 15 science questions so we're going to do five anagrams tonight with 15 science questions however if you look at the top of the screen our quiz tonight is not just me we have some very special guests joining us in the broadcast. So, yes, very exciting. So, if you've got yourself a pen and paper ready, we're going to make a start. I'm going to bring up a time. In fact, let me go through the, the next set of rules for the anagrams. So, have a pen and paper ready, guys. You're going to have two minutes on each anagram. And each correct answer will score 10 points. OK, so you're going to get 10 points if you get the anagram within the two minutes. So if you even if you put it on the on the actual screen and you get it right, if you get it within two minutes, give yourself 10 points. OK, so let me grab my timer and we're going to make a start with our first anagram. OK, so good evening, Mike. Good to see you. So I'll give you the letters like I normally do. And then I want you to work out what the anagram is. If you get it within two minutes, you get 
10 points. Here we go then. Here's your first anagram for tonight. Is foregone maths. Foregone maths. And your two minutes starting now. So I'm looking for... I'm looking for a word. Actually, there's. I'll give you a clue. Three words using those letters. You've got two minutes to work out what is the anagram. Four gone maths. It's three words. That's your clue. Give you another clue. It's something to do with TV. And that's all the clues I'm going to give you. You have to use all the letters, yes. All the letters on the screen. It's an anagram of foregone maths. What is the anagram? And we're just going to do five of these today. If, if you do enjoy the anagrams, then we will do them again. Hello, Doe. Good to see you. Hello, Anne. And you've got 45 seconds left. So you clue three letters and it's something on TV. So we'll do five of these, then we're going to go into our science quiz. Just under 20 seconds left. Have you got it? So three words, something on TV. And out of time, guys. Out of time. If you want to type it in, you can do, yes. If you want to type it in the comments, Vic Rick. So did anyone get it? Pop your answers in the comments. You've got 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds if you want to put it in the comments and then I'll reveal the answer. Anyone get it? The correct answer. No one's going to... So because it was a first, the first anagram, the correct answer was... Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. If you said Game of Thrones, give yourself 10 points. Right, let's do the next one. Here we go. Aligned gem. Aligned gem. Your two minutes is starting now. I'll give you a clue on this one. It is a film. So this one is a film. They are tough. <laughs> You'll all be asking for the maths. Again, Rick, Rick, get sending some maths questions for next week. So I'm looking for a film, an anagram of a lined gem. So Melanie says imagined. We shall find out the answer very shortly. You've got 45 seconds. Make sure you're using all the letters. There is an L in there as well. Got 25 seconds. It's a film. I 
Anne says maligned. Could it be maligned? Okay, guys, out of time. So we're out of time, guys. You've got another 10 more seconds if you want to quickly put in an answer. Could it be maligned? Is it maligned? It was I am legend. I am legend. So nobody got any points there. Sorry. It wasn't maligned. It was I am legend. Okay, question number three. Here we go. Here's your next one. Your anagram is performs tug. Performs tug. Your two minutes starting now. And again, it's a film. I'm looking for a film. It's worth 10 points. Good luck, everyone. Okay, I'll give you a clue with this one, apart from a film. Think of... Think of running. When I get down to 30 seconds, I'll give you another clue. A film that has running in it. And you've just got under one minute to go. Someone's going to get this one. Got some answers coming through, but is it the correct answer? We shall find out in under 35 seconds. Just to give those replay viewers a chance. So we're going to go for the full time, guys. You never know; they might it might be it might not be the right answer. So 15 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Out of time, guys. Out of time. So, a lot of you were in the comments put Forrest Gump. Is it Forrest Gump? Let's find out. Yes, well done everyone. It was Forrest Gump. Okay, number four then. Here we go. Your anagram is Pro Bear Skin. Pro Bear Skin. Your two minutes starting now. And I'll give you a clue with this one. It is a television show. A television show. Well done, Doe. Yep, well done, Anne. You all got those within two minutes. Give yourself ten points. So it's a television show with the anagram Pro Bearskin. We've only got one more left. Maybe I should do ten of these next week if we do these again. So Anne asks, is it a British show? I think it's an American show, Anne, I think. Yeah, it's an American show, I think. So you've got 50 seconds. Think of something. Okay, just the last one, Jay. We've only got one more left. But think of... A place you would go to if you were committed a crime. There's your clue. Stay with me, Jay. We've only got one more left. So if you commit a crime, has got 10 seconds left. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everyone. Doe says prison break. Melanie says prison, prison break. Mike says prison break. Is it prison break? It was prison break. Well done, guys. Right, last one then. Last one of your anagrams. Here it is. Madly ashamed fit. Madly ashamed fit. Your two minutes starting now. And your clue with this one, it is a film that you might only watch on one day of the year. That is your clue. A film you would watch only one day a year. Got one minute, 15 seconds left. Show <laughs> it in your comments. Has anyone got it yet? On the last 10 seconds, I'm going to give you a clue. And I'm going to sing it. Well, mime it. You might need your fingers to do this. Oh, I'll give you that 30 seconds. See who gets it. <clears throat> if I went to you, you ready? 33 seconds. That's your clue. Who's going to get it? You got 15 seconds. Now have you got it? Nine seconds left, guys. Oh, we're getting some answers coming through. Have you got it? Let's find out. Okay, out of time. Okay, is it the Adams family? It is the Adams family. Well done. Well done, Doe. Well done, Claire. Oh, so yeah, well done, Melanie. Not the monsters, Jay, but good, good guess. Well done, Mike. <laughs> Hayden's cooking stream. Hey, Chris, good to see you. Welcome in. It's good to see everyone joining. So let me know your scores out of 50 for the first round because we're now going to go into our second section of tonight. So, let's bring up the rules. Here we go. So, you're going to have 30 seconds in between each question. Actually, I might give you a minute, actually. I'm going to give you a minute on this one. Let's change that. So, you're going to get one minute in between each question. I'd not change that, that's why. And then the answers will be revealed at the end. So, tonight's quiz is a science quiz. Okay. You can pop your answers in the comments, that's fine. However, I'm not going to be answer, asking you the questions, not for the first eight questions. We're going to have some special guests. So first up, we're going to head to Boston in Lincolnshire. And we're going to go to Melanie Fay. Take it to, over to you, Melanie. What does DNA? Oops, let me play that again. Sorry, some technical issues. What does DNA stand for? Did we all get that question? I'm going to play it one more time for you. What does DNA stand for? There we go, that was your first question. And if you noticed, that was Melanie Fay. What does DNA stand for? Did you all hear that okay? You could all hear that okay? 
just because of my volume on my computer. So pop your answers in the comments below, and if you get it correct, I'll reveal the answer at the end. Right, the second question then. We're going to go to... Who are we going to next? We're going to... Gemma. Here we go. Take it over, Gemma. Okay, so how many bones does an adult human body have in total? Okay, I'll play it one more time. Okay, so how many bones does an adult human body have in total? Thank you, Gemma. So your question was, how many bones are in the human body? I'm not going to read the question out again, sorry. <laughs> it's just I can't hear the question. Okay, and question number three. Where are we going to next? Let me know if I'm going too quick. I'll repeat them hey all there, again folks. a second time. Hope you're enjoying this quiz, because I've got a doozy, man. This question is going to get some of you. It's not math. Don't panic, you math folks. But it's about science. About the concept of gravity. Which physicist discovered this? Which physicist is involved with gravity? The concept of gravity. Good luck! Tough question. See you later, folks. Thank you, Rick. That is Rick. So thank you for your question, Rick. I'm going to play it one more time. So one more time. Hey there, folks. Hope you're enjoying this quiz because I've got a doozy, man. This question is going to get some of you. It's not math. Don't panic, you math folks. But it's about science. About the concept of gravity. Which physicist discovered this? Which physicist is involved with gravity? The concept of gravity. Good luck! Tough question. See you later, folks. There you go. Thank you, Rick. So your question there on the screen. Okay. We'll find out the answers at the end. Right. We're now going to question number four. And who's going to give us question number four? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome to Aiden's Quiz. Your question is, what is the natural hardest substance on Earth? Does anybody know? Good luck finding out. Ciao. Thanks Anne. I'm just going to play it one more time. Hello everyone and welcome to Aiden's Quiz. Your question is, what is the natural hardest substance on Earth? Does anybody know? Good luck finding out. Ciao. Thank you Anne. Did you all get the question? Okay, and we're going to go on to question number five. Who's going to give us question number five? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Darby here. Here's your question. What is the main gas that makes up the majority of the Earth's atmosphere? What is the main gas? that makes up the majority of the Earth's atmosphere. Bye! Thank you, Darby. That was Darby Jones. I'm going to play it one more time. Hey, everyone. Darby here. Here's your question. What is the main gas that makes up the majority of the Earth's atmosphere? What is the main gas that makes up the majority of the Earth's atmosphere? Bye! Yeah, thank you very much, Darby. Okay, question number six. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys, hope you're all enjoying the quiz. Uh, you're doing a great job, Aidan, by the way. Great quiz. So I've got number question six for you. Humans and chimpanzees share roughly how much DNA? Humans and chimpanzees share roughly how much DNA? Well, I don't know who that was. Do you have any ideas who that was? I have no idea. Anyway, let's find out. We're going to press play again. Hi, guys. Hope you're all enjoying the quiz. Uh, you're doing a great job, Aidan, by the way. Great quiz. So I've got number question six for you. Humans and chimpanzees share roughly how much DNA? Humans and chimpanzees share roughly how much DNA? Well, I don't know who that was, but it was very, very handsome looking, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, next question, guys. Hopefully you got that one right. Question seven, where are we going next? Let's find out. Okay, so next question in the quiz for today, Monday. Is question number seven. Uh, what is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? And it's actually by percentage or mass, if you like. And think about it for a second, because it's a little bit of a tricky question. Uh, you might be tempted to think uh, something else that you really need, but it's actually more in the lines, uh, I'll give you a hint, uh, more in the lines of building blocks of life that you may have learned about in school. So good luck with that, and hope you get it. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. I'm just going to replay that one again. Okay, so next question in the quiz for today, Monday. Question number seven. Uh, what is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? And it's actually by percentage or mass, if you like. And think about it for a second, because it's a little bit of a tricky question. Uh, you might be tempted to think uh, something else that you really need, but it's actually more in the lines, I'll uh, give you a hint, uh, more in the lines of building blocks of life that you may have learned about in school. So good luck with that, and hope you get it. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. Very well spoken indeed. Well done, Mike. And question number eight. How many more? This is the last video we have, and then I'll I'm will i going to do the rest of the questions, okay, up to 15. So question number eight. Who could it be? Here we go. Hello, Alexis here in southeast coastal Georgia, where it's a cloudy day. I have a question for you. How long does it take for the sun's light to reach the earth? Eight minutes, eight hours, or eight days? Let us know. I don't know who was that. Do we know who that is? It was Alexis, of course. Alexis, play it one more time. Hello, Alexis here in southeast coastal Georgia, where it's a cloudy day. I have a question for you. How long does it take for the sun's light to reach the earth? Eight minutes, eight hours, or eight days? Let us know. Yeah, thank you, Alexis. Thank you. So... I've run out of videos. Oh, oh, sorry, I've got one more. I've got one more. I'm going to bring it up on the screen and I'm going to play at the same time. So, here we go. Hopefully you can all hear this. Here we go. Famous British physicist wrote a brief history of time. Good luck, everybody. Good day to everybody. This is Jay Opera with today's question what famous british physicist wrote a brief history of time good luck everybody did you all hear that okay guys so jay i couldn't get jay's video before i came on so hopefully you got that okay and you could hear him thank you jay so Right, question number 10. So I'm going to just do these last ones, okay? Number 10. At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit equal? At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit equal? Hello? 
can I just say you all did absolutely brilliant recording them and sending them to me so well done everybody okay question number 11 what modern day country was Marie so Marie Curie born in what modern day country was Marie Curie Curie born in Yeah, we definitely need a definitely need a teamwork award for for that. Well done, everyone. Okay, and question number twelve: What is the biggest planet in our solar system? What is the biggest planet in our solar system? Oh, wait for the ads. We'll just wait for the ads. Have a drink, guys. Sorry if you've got ads. I'll just give you an extra 30 seconds on this question. Okay, really good answers coming through. I'll reveal all the answers at the end. Okay, your next question. Okay. Question number 13. What name is given for the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom? What name is given for the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom? another 20 seconds I did say I was going to give you a minute didn't I between each question <laughs> okay and question 14 how many vertebrae does the average human possess how many vertebrae does the average human possess Jason, I, I trust Rick. Okay, question, and your last question then for tonight. What was the name of the first man-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957? What was the name of the first man-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957? And pop in the comments if you would like me to play all the videos again as we go through the answers. Would you like to hear the videos again or just the answers? Jay says no. Okay, we'll just give you the answers. Please no. Claire loves the videos. Don't worry, I'm not going to save the videos. I promise you, they'll be gone after tonight. Other than well, you could be able to watch this back on YouTube, everybody. So this is when you come to me and say, "Don't upload it to YouTube." <laughs> okay, let's go through the answers then, everybody. So just the answers. Okay, question number one then. What does DNA stand for? This was Melanie's question. Melanie read out for you. What does DNA stand for? The answer, 
is deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribonucleic acid. I'll go back through the comments afterwards. Number two, how many bones are in the human body? Beautifully spoken by Gemma. The answer is 206. 206. Number three, the concept of gravity was discovered by which famous physicist? And that was beautifully read by Rick. The answer was Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, number four. What is the hardest natural substance on earth? This was read out beautifully by Anne. What is the hardest natural substance on earth? The answer was a diamond. I think a lot of you said that. I'll go back through them after this. Number five. Which is the main gas that makes up the Earth's atmosphere? And this was, again, beautifully read out by Darby. Did you get the answer right? It was nitrogen. So there's another question very similar. Hopefully it wasn't the same sort of question, but it was very similar, if you noticed that. So that answer was nitrogen. Number six. Now I put Thomas there because it was originally Thomas that was going to do it, but I decided to do it. Humans and chimpanzees share roughly how much DNA? I didn't know who read that one out. I've never heard of, never seen him before. <laughs> it was 98%. 98%. Rick says, please play Jaws over and over again in an infinite loop. <laughs> okay, question number seven. This was the one that was very similar. I think this was Mike. What is the most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? So the question five was, what is the main gas that makes up the Earth's atmosphere? It was a very similar question, wasn't it? I apologise that that accidentally sent the, maybe the question twice. Um, the answer was, again, nitrogen. But see it as a sort of extra question, which you should have known if you got the first one right. <laughs> so sorry about that. Oops. Uh, it does happen. Question number eight. Roughly... This was by Alexis. Sorry, that was before Mike. This was Alexis. Roughly how long does it take for the sun's light to reach Earth? Was it eight minutes, eight hours, or eight days? It was eight minutes. Number nine. Jay said, which famous British physicist wrote a brief history of time? It was, of course, Stephen Hawking. And number ten. At what temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit equal? It is minus 40. So we've done 10 questions there. Let me just, yeah, I'll do it at the end, all the answers. So number 11, which modern day country was Marie Curie born in? The answer was Poland. Number 12, what is the biggest planet in our solar system? It was, of course, Jupiter. 13. What name is given for the number of protons found in a nucleus of an atom? The answer was the atomic number. Atomic number. Number 14. How many vertebrae does the average human possess? The answer is 33. And number 15. What was the name of the first man-made satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957? It was Sputnik 1. Now, I saw a lot of those questions, answers come through, so I'm just going to give you a flavour of some of them. I'll go back through them. So, um, well done, everyone that put the answers in the comments. So, Claire, well done on the number one. Um, well done, Rick. Hey Gemma, you were here, I didn't see you coming. Um, 108J, 
206, Melanie and Doe, well done. Isaac Newton, well done. Yeah, who is that guy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Diamonds, well done. Claire, Doe and Melanie. And Rick, that's uh, right, and Jay. Uh, just as I'm just scraping through them, scooting through them. 97, you were so close, Claire. On that one, 99, says Jay. Aiden's brother, yep. Yeah. Don't know, didn't know you had a twin, <laughs> says Anne. Mike, well spoken indeed. Nitrogen, well done, Doe and Melanie. And eight minutes, Rick, well done. Add your scores up, by the way, guys. Pop them in the comments. Uh, Stephen Hawking, well done, Melanie. And Doe, minus 40, Mike and Melanie, well done. And Rick. Poland, Doe, well done. Melanie, well done. Jupiter, do well done. Jupiter, well done. Melanie, well done. Everyone that said Jupiter. Um, Spudnik, well done. Jay, Claire, Melanie. Yeah, I'm just going through the answers there. Just some, it wasn't a waste putting all your comments in. So, well done, everyone. Add your scores up. Let me know how you did. And hopefully you enjoyed tonight's quiz. It was a little bit different. So, um, if you would like me to... We could, uh, I'll do the anagrams again next week or do something different. So let me know your scores out of 200. Add your scores up. If not, if you didn't write your scores down, not to worry. So thank you all for coming in. Thank you everyone that sent videos. And I shall see you in Melanie's broadcast at 9 o'clock. Jay says we are very smart. You are a smart lot. Very, very smart, Jay. <laughs> so thank you all for coming in, guys. And I'll see you next week for another quiz. Take care, everyone. You've gone very quiet. Does Spudnik get misspelling part, mate? Yeah, if you put Spudnik and it was wrong spelling, don't worry about it. So you got 10 points for each correct answer, though. Oh, thanks, Claire. Thank you. That was really fun. Thank you to everyone that took part in tonight's quiz. So there we go. Answers coming through now. Answers coming through now. Answer co answers coming through now. <laughs> So you got eight right and three anagrams. Well done, though. Rick got 108 points. <laughs> Jay says, I saw The Quiet Man on the big screen. Is it a good film, Claire? Is it a good film? And don't forget, I will be back on tomorrow night. We'll be do we'll do some wordscapes tomorrow. So same time, 7 p.m. So thank you all for tuning in. I shall see you next See you tomorrow or for the quiz next Monday. And maybe we'll do a different quiz next week. Mike got 110. Well done, Mike. And if you want to send me another video next week, I'll send you a message. <laughs> right, guys. Good night. See you in Melanie's broadcast, 9 o'clock. Don't forget Gemma's on as well. Well, tonight, I think, doing her quiz at, I think it's 11 here so take care guys see you later